Hey, Collective. Good morning. It's Monday, y'all. Yeah, I've been up since like four. A little child spirit woke me up this morning. <sighs> Showing me some things. Putting the, connecting the dots. I can, like a lot of memories come flooding back. You know what I'm saying? Child, listen. Mm. I had coffee this morning. But I said, I'm going to get up. I'm going to do this reading. And whatever comes out. You see, I got my villains t-shirt, right? Because this is about some villains, baby. Uh, remember that time is fluid. Whenever you see this message, it's when you're meant to see it. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. So please only leave what resonates. Take what resonates and leave the rest. <laughs> That's because my, I'm, I'm, I'm getting played here. Anyway, so this is going to be a touchy subject. This is going to be triggering. So trigger warning for anybody that's paying attention. If you're easily triggered by your past or by some traumas, you know, it ain't the time to watch this. But this is definitely about um, someone in your life. There was something that I... Here it is. It's a, oh, here it is. Mm. I remember what you told me to forget. There it is. I woke up about three or four this morning. And I hear I remember what you told me to forget. That's an old song. I remember what you told me to forget. Somebody wanted you to forget. Somebody's been fucking with you. Somebody's been um, uh, doing uh, spiritual work on you for you to forget some things that happened in the past, right? They don't want you to connect the dots. Too late. 2.12 on the clock. It's too late. Mm. Spirit's showing me somebody that when you're around them, they look at you like, out the corner of their eye like that. So if you know that if you're around somebody that looks at you like that, you know, or when you think they're not looking but they're watching you, this is the person that's tried to um I want to say unalive you. This is somebody that's been doing it since you were a child though. This is a parental figure or this could be a sibling. Okay? A older sibling or something like that. This is somebody that constantly pushed you into harm's way constantly pushed you into situations where you know they weren't favorable you know what i mean coerced you pushed you um they enlisted others to pull you into some kind of traumatic um vibrational energy okay whether this was drugs sex or something it was this person it was this parental figure that had a disdain for you since you were a child this is somebody that was fucking, if this was a parent, this parent was jealous of you since you was a fucking baby. Can you believe that shit? Because of all the attention that people gave you, you were a special child. You had some kind of spiritual gift that was upon your life. And it showed you were like an angelic child. And, and people always wanted to be around you. People always wanted to take you. People always wanted to... You know, take you shopping and buy you things and do things for you. And let me tell you, this went on, this is this has gone on for most of your life, right? And as you got older, as you got older, it made this person even more fucking um vengeful and resentful towards you, right? Because of your light. Because of how people gravitated towards you. It's like you got more attention than the than the mama. And they didn't like that shit. Take it how it resonates. Look, they didn't like that shit. My deck upright, my deck's upright. Thank you, spirit. They didn't like that. And this person has been has been sabotaging you and and, and doing magic. Yep, they've been they've been doing root work over you your whole life. Because of they were jealous of your light, jealous of how people gravitate towards you, jealous of your fucking energy. Even as a child, this person, listen, man, this is going to get ugly, y'all. This person has, has sexually 
traumatized you, to try to um, defile you, your innocence. You hear me? This person has sexually traumatized you. This person has mentally traumatized you, emotionally traumatized you, physically traumatized you since you was a fucking kid. Your own fucking blood, nigga. Because they were jealous of you. They were jealous of, of, of the light that you carried, the innocence that you carried, because you reminded them of that they didn't have that in their life because this was somebody that was traumatized themselves as a child, possibly by a parent. Okay? And when they became, when they can't, who spirit? Spirit said you could have been the result of some kind of trauma that they had to endure and they have resented you ever since you were born. Wow, you could have been born out of trauma. You could have been a, a product of rape or incest. Thank you, spirit. You could have been a product of rape or incest. And this person has had resentment. So so if this was your mother, then you that's not even your mother. It's your mother and your sister. If this if this parental if their parental figure uh crossed the line with them and traumatized them in a sexual manner, and it could have produced a child. Okay, take it how it resonates. And this person has trauma, has, it's like you have been, ooh, come on spirit, you have been a thorn in somebody's side. You have been a reminder of the trauma that they had to go through. But see, you didn't come into this world as a problem. You came into this world as a, a vessel. As a blessing from God. Although you might have come through the through the fire, through the trauma, through the will of somebody's seed. You know how it says in the Bible that when when we when we are born again in Christ, right, that that we're born not from a man or from from a man's choice, right? Because it's ultimate the man's choice to plant the seeds, right? To, to fertilize the seeds, right? This was an unwanted pregnancy. This was an unwanted relationship that produced a child. That's what I'm hearing. And this child has been traumatized because of the way it came into this world. But believe me when I tell you, God knew what was going to happen to this child. That's why God chose this child. He knew that this child had come out of, what, out of, out of bondage, out of sin. And that this child was going to be treat, treated with, with disregard, right? Like they were trash, like they were a fucking mistake, right? Because it came out of pain, out of hurt, out of trauma, out of fucking violation. Come on, spirit. And this person has been trying to get rid of you, the memory of you, the thought of you. But the thing is, everybody loved you. You were special. God made sure you had a special um, anointing on your life because he knew what you were going to have to go through. He knew that this person was not going to be able to heal, that they were going to take it out on you. That you were going to be their reminder every day and they hated that shit. And especially because you were loved. Because you were special, you had a blessing. You, I heard you wasn't even a bad child. You didn't even come into this world to bring this person any kind of trouble. Because it was trouble that got you here. And you've been this person's punching bag all your life. You've been the one that they take out all their aggression on them, all their pain, all their trauma. This person has not healed. This person is still dealing with childhood wounds that they were never able to heal. And you remind them of that. And God forbid that you're out here making a life or a name or trying to do something right in the world. They don't like that shit because they didn't have that fucking opportunity. How dare you be the mistake and you come out and you be right. And you be perfect. And you do the right thing. And you are, you're a blessing. How dare you? It was taken from me. It belongs to me. I'm supposed to have that. Mm. Come on, spirit.
What's going on here? Somebody's been hurting you. Somebody's been trauma. Somebody's been trying to put your light out since you was a child because they felt like that was supposed to belong to them. You hear me? That was supposed to belong to them. You ain't even supposed to be here. Where'd you come? You know, uh-uh. Somebody felt cheated. Look, page of cups in reverse. I'm telling you. Very immature, very childish, very unhealed energy. I don't know how to love. I don't know how to give love. It wasn't given to me. I was forced to have a baby by somebody that's supposed to be my nurturer. Mm. And then the baby that I had, everybody loves. That was supposed to be my destiny. I was supposed to be the child that everybody loved and adored. It wasn't supposed to be this one that came out of, out of violence, out of sin. Somebody never healed from that. Somebody never accepted you as a product of love. They looked at you as a product of sin, as a product of, of um, what's the word I'm looking for, spirit? Of some kind of adversity, of some kind of, yeah, look, six of swords. Somebody could have been forced to move away with you. Hmm. Somebody could have been forced to move away with you as a child, right? To keep this family secret, to keep because of the shame and the guilt around it. Mm. Somebody could have been guided to move away. You know, in spirit, let me clarify something. Spirit said it may not have been a parental figure. It could have been somebody like a family member or somebody close to the family and the community that may have take, violated someone, you know, and it produced a child that caused a lot of shame around it. And this person has been taking this shit out on you ever since you was a child. The, every spirit, I heard it, I seen it too. Every time something good happened in your life, this person would try to destroy it because they didn't, because they felt like it, it should have been them. This is somebody that's watched you your whole entire life with disdain. With jealousy, with envy. This is somebody, this is, mm, mm, mm. this is somebody that every time that you would accomplish something, they wouldn't praise you, they wouldn't congratulate you, they wouldn't, uh, you know, give you any kind of motivation, you know. It was either they ignored you, they didn't, they act, they act like you weren't there, they disregarded you. This is a this is the kind of if there was other other siblings like you you they they favored the other children over you. They even encouraged the other children to treat you that way. They encouraged your other siblings to treat you that way. You know, children they follow they follow suit with the parent. If the parent if there's a bunch of y'all and then there's somebody that they see the parent you know kind of slights and shit, kids see that shit. They do the same thing. And this and 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 from that point in your life when you was a child, you have always been the scapegoat. You hear me? And that was because of your parent, your mama, your daddy, or both. That they reinforce that you don't belong energy. That you're an outcast, that you were a fucking mistake. But through your whole life, God has been continuing continually watching over you. Protecting you, covering you, blocking these attacks that this person has been sending and putting into your life. All right. All the traumas you may have had to go through some things, but see, you survived and you came out with your mind intact. Do you hear me? This is what they wanted to destroy. Somebody wanted to destroy you from the inside out. They wanted you to make to make you such a miserable and nasty and dirty person because of the, the heat that they kept fucking heaping on you, right? The shit they kept throwing on you through your whole... I'm talking about adolescent, infant, adolescent, childhood, teenage, high school, whatever. You hear me? And you're going to know who this person is in your life. I bet you there's some of y'all that can't even remember some of your fucking childhood. It's because of this person. This person not wanting you to remember that it was them that was fucking attacking you.
Come on, Spirit. We got the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Look at this, Ten of Pentacles. Man, listen, this person encouraged others. Throughout your life, this person may have interfered into you in your relationships. Do you hear me? This person may have, um, you know, um, the things that you have gone through as a child, which they had a hand in, which they created for you, right? And then turn around and try to shame you for that shit. You hear me? Any kind of, of outburst or adolescent act, you know, craziness. You know how I teenagers, listen, that was your parent that did that shit or your sibling that pushed you into that shit. They've been doing this shit to you since you was a fucking child. You were never supposed to be at your full potential because they was trying to stop that shit since you was a kid. Thank you, spirit. What's going on here? That innocence. They stole your fucking innocence. Over and over and over a fucking game. I, I heard they sold you into slavery. Modern day. They wanted you bound. They wanted you ugly, I heard. They wanted you ugly and they wanted people to look at you as ugly. And unworthy. Because that's how they feel. I don't know if somebody, somebody, listen, because with this, they wanted you to feel unworthy. It's feel, I feel like this is what they felt like when they had to leave. Somebody had to leave somewhere because of, of shame and guilt, man. I'm telling you, if this wasn't a parental figure that, that impregnated somebody, then this was somebody that was promiscuous and they got impregnated by somebody that they, they, they feel ashamed of. And you were the evidence of their actions. And they tried to get rid of you. I'm telling you. It's something to the fact that when you came out, you were a reminder of something that happened to them or something that they did. Listen to my baby. You hear me? <laughs> Come on, Spirit. What's this message? I remember... What you told me to forget. Somebody wanted you to forget something. Somebody want, didn't want you to remember. Somebody could have been doing spell work on you for a very fucking long time to block your memory. Listen. Listen. Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Whatever this investment was, it didn't work. You were protected. This is giving me Archangel Michael. This is giving me authority. Like that ain't going to happen. Shit, somebody could have wanted you to move away. Maybe they was trying to get you to get the fuck on. You hear me? You know when we have to raise our children, we have to keep them. But when, we, when they get old enough to go, listen, this person could have put your ass out when you was of age. When you, when you were barely 21, they could have told you to get the fuck, get out their house. You hear me? I'm telling you. But they never stop fucking with you. They Listen, I'm telling you, you are somebody very special. You are somebody that no matter what you've been through, God pulls you out and he continues to bless you. He continues to keep you afloat is what I'm hearing. He continues to keep you afloat when somebody was trying to fucking drown you. Somebody was hoping that you drowned and in, in, um, somebody wanted you to commit suicide. That's what I heard. I heard that's another thing I seen this morning too. Somebody wanted, some of you may have tried to attempt suicide in the past. Because I've certainly seen that. Somebody may have, it, I mean, it didn't happen, right? But for the grace of God. But Spirit is showing me you could have been so, so traumatized, so, I heard PTSD. Somebody that inflicted so much trauma on you as a child. And this is a child thing, too. And God, listen, pay attention to your children, man. Because this is, a, this is a childhood thing. I've seen somebody try to take their life as a child. And it's like, once somebody knew that you were teetering on that, it's like they didn't stop. 
It's like they've been, it's like a cycle of them trying to get you to do it over and over. As you got older, the, they, they wanted you to do it. It's like you kept repeating the same fucking cycle with this person. This got to be a per somebody that you was in your life. We got an emperor, a fucking mother. Come on, man. Empress, I mean. And we got a king of wands in reverse. And we got a nine of pentacles in reverse and a high priestess. Mm, 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 mm. A king of wands. So this could have been nine of pentacles, the high priestess. This could. This is giving me the energy of somebody sleeping with somebody's husband. That's what this gives me the energy of. The Empress up, upright and the King of Wands is a cheating ass husband. I, re, I tell y'all that all the time. And then it's Nine of Pentacles. They didn't get what they what they was trying to get. Somebody was with somebody's cheating ass husband. And they thought they was going to get some kind of payday off of it. They was going to become a Nine of Pentacles. Yep, they sure did, but they didn't. Nope, they got left. And you was the fucking problem. You was a problem. Now they got a fucking baby, right? That didn't get them what they wanted. Spirit said they took care of the baby, but they didn't take care of them. And that's where the problem came. Somebody, somebody was willing to take care of the child, but not the mother. Come on now. Look, fuck them up. Mm-hmm. And they've been and they've been telling they've been mm -hmm. so this could even be somebody just like keeping you around just for the fucking money. You hear me? You are nothing but a payday for somebody. Ooh, this is this is giving me Cinderella all day. And the evil stepmother. This could even been a fucking stepmother. All you were to this person was a means to to elevate them. If, mm, if you were, if somebody was sending child support to this mother for you, they didn't give you shit. They didn't give you shit. They 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 spent it all on themselves. I deserve it. I deserve it. That's what I keep hearing. I deserve it. Mm, 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 mm. Look, child, I deserve it. I deserve it. Mm. To the point where they were willing to abuse their own child. They came out of their body. They couldn't see you as a part of them. They seen you as a, um, what do you call it? Come on, spirit. As a token. As a means a way to a means as to, to get... See, you were only useful. Ooh, spirit. You were only useful for finances. This is why somebody allowed you to be sexually abused. It was for money. 2323. <coughs> Thank you, spirit. Somebody allowed you to be abused. Somebody was trafficked, sexually trafficking you as a fucking child. I'm telling you, somebody was using you to get money. Somebody was selling you to the fucking highest bidder for their own fucking benefit. You hear me? Come on, spirit. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. You were only a means to get money. The only reason you came into this world was to trap somebody else. You were you are a pawn. Thank you, spirit. You are a pawn. You were only useful to attract finances. You were only... Golly, you were only useful. Somebody, wow, spirit showed me so much shit, man. Somebody, it's like you being like a, um, something that they could barter, they could sell to get what they wanted. Here, you can sleep with my daughter. Give me some money. Here, you can have my child. Give me, oh, Lord. Mm.
Somebody wanted to steal your innocence. They wanted to steal your, um, I'm hearing it, angelic, something about you. They tried to take it from you, your innocence. They wanted to take away everything that people saw in you that was beauty and peace and love and light and joy. They wanted that for themselves. They said that I, that should have been me. But see, they so fucking, they're so uh, buried in, in trauma and anger and resentment and regret. And especially resentment. Somebody resented you. Somebody resented having you because you didn't produce what they thought they was going to get. Somebody thought they was going to be the wife. Somebody thought they was going to be in the Nine of Pentacles energy, having everything that they fucking wanted, right? But they ended up being in the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They didn't get anything. And that's because that's karma. You, you took somebody's innocence and you used it to benefit your fucking pocket, your lifestyle. You didn't care what this person, this child had to fucking go through. The trauma that you were creating for this child. Matter of fact, you didn't even expect this child to make it through. You weren't even supposed to be here. At some point, you were supposed to take yourself out or go fucking crazy from the shit that this person did to you. But you know what spirit told me? They're going to go crazy because now they can't get out their head what the fuck they did to you. And you know it. It's coming out and now the guilt is eating their ass up. Ooh, wait. Come on, spirit. What's going on here? Somebody could have, could have, look, somebody could have been doing spell work over you so that you wouldn't tell nobody. You know how kids get, kids that, ah, uh, that's why they acting out. Something's, is you acted out because you were being molested. You were being sold. You were being used for somebody else's fucking perverted purposes. Somebody that wanted to be queen. Damn, I want to be queen. Somebody was jealous of you as a child. You hear me? This is five of swords in reverse came on this king of wands and this empress. Yeah, this person tried to come between a relationship, man. This person tried to take something from somebody else. Yes, you did. Look, look at this shit that fell out. Temperance in reverse. Nine of wands in reverse. Ace of swords. Yes, they did. The star unfucking healed. This is somebody that's unhealed. They lied about a lot of shit. A lot of unbalances in your life. Listen, somebody could have said everything you said you've been through. You lie. You imbalanced. You crazy. You crazy. And then none of that had that person. They, they crazy. No, you ain't fucking crazy. You ain't crazy by a long shot. Yeah, it's time for you to make a move. It's time to go in a whole new direction. Or somebody else need to fucking figure out where they gonna go. We know where they going. They going straight to H-E double two picks. If they ain't already there. Hmm, how about that? How about that? We got a queen of pentacles here. Very balanced energy. Very stable. It, they tried to take that shit from you. They Look, the strength caught in reverse. I'm telling you something. Yep. Weak, vulnerable, and not knowing what happened. Listen, they tried to take you out. Do you hear me? Listen, somebody did so much dirt and so much, so much um, uh, traumatic shit to you as a child that that how I want to say this, how this person thought they was gonna get away with. First of all, because they're your parent. This is what it, this this is your mother. This bitch is sitting right here. This is a mother. This is somebody that wanted to look the part. This is somebody that wanted to be praised, looked up to. But they had to steal it. They tried to come. They tried to stop your flow. They stopped, tried to stop you from growing up and being the person you were supposed to be, who God intended you to be. They tried to block it. 
They caused a lot of trauma to you in your life. They treated you as if you were just a a um, a token, a, a a pawn. You were. They never looked at you as a human being or someone that needed nurturing and love because they couldn't. They didn't nurture and love themselves. You were. I was getting ready to say accident, but there ain't nothing. No fucking accidents. You were something that happened to somebody that that brought out that exposed them for their sinful nature, okay, for their lower vibrational nature. And when that happened and it, did, it didn't get them what they wanted, and so you became a burden. You were a tool. They used you. But when you came into this world, you were loved and they didn't like that shit. You didn't come in to the world and people said, oh, we don't want to deal with, with that bastard child. They didn't say that shit. They took you and they loved you, unlike how this person was fucking treated. They treated you better and you was a fucking mistake to them. They loved you anyway because that's what God intended. You didn't, you didn't come in this world with, oh, I'm finna fuck up everybody's life. You came into this world with love. It wasn't your fucking, pro who's, who, you didn't tell them two to get the fuck together to put you and bring you here. This was something that somebody's fucking ashamed of. Somebody had to move away because of their actions. And when they did that, they, they forfeited. Whatever their investments was to, be, to become this, it fucking failed. They didn't get what they wanted and they and they took it out on you for the rest of your fucking life. You always reminded this person of their fucking failures. And God forbid if you were striving, if you was growing and elevating and growing, if you was a smart fucking kid. Oh my God. What? We got to stop that shit. Who, who the fuck do you think you are? You weren't made out of love. How dare you have the life that I wanted, that I tried to steal? You got it naturally. You came from me. That belongs to me. I brought you in this world and I can take you out. How about that shit? And they tried. And they tried. Ooh, child. What's going on here, spirit? I didn't even pull out the villains. I had them. Let me, I'm finna pull them out. I'm finna pull them out. What we got here? Look, and regret. In fucking regret for everything that they fucking done. And look at this. If you look under here, there's some shit that's hidden that you don't know that they did to you. That they'll, they'll go to the fucking grave. You hear me? That's gonna come out too because it's in reverse. Yeah, they they thought they was going to be able to go to the grave with this. Get rid of you because you crazy, right? Ain't nobody going to believe nothing you say. Right, spirit? The moon. <laughs> and the two of pentacles. Hmm. What's going on here? What's going on? Show us this villain, spirit. <laughs> Show us this villain in, in the collective lives. I remember... What you told me to forget. Mm, somebody tried to get you to forget what they've been doing, what they were doing, the experiences that you that you had to deal with to cover their asses. You hear me? You hear me? To cover their ass. They wanted to keep you confused, imbalanced, so you wouldn't remember the fucking betrayal. You hear me? Every time they put a sword in your fucking back. Every time they had you do something fucked up. Every time they put you in a fucked up situation. They didn't want you to know it was them. That they were doing it. I'm telling you. They didn't want you to know. It was them. It was them the whole fucking time. It was them. Destroying your fucking life. It was them putting root work on you. To keep you imbalanced in your life. So you will remember what the fuck they did to you. Or you, Hello. So that you wouldn't reach your potential because, God, you know what? That was theirs. Anything beautiful or good in your life, they feel like it was supposed to be theirs. And they try to take it from you. 
and they try to fucking take it from you. Queen of Pentacles in fucking reverse. They try to take it from you. Look at that alligator on that, but this is a snake. This is somebody that hides and then attacks. This is a snake. They try to take it from you. They try to take away from you what God had already sent with you in, in your in your baby bag. God sent your blessings and your and his with the grace and mercy with your baby bag when you came into this world and this bitch took it. She tried to take it from you. Spirit, what's this message? Two of Pentacles, imbalance, five five of swords, creating conflict, chaos. Um Fucking around with people in your life and getting people to turn against you. Telling lies, spreading gossip. Whatever this person could do, this person did. This person could even put roots on your on your friends, your family, your relationships. Um, come here. On a lot of people. King of Cups. Very sneaky energy. Very sneaky thieving. This person could have collaborated. You could have been with the King of Cups. Because I got the King of Cups and the King of Queen of Pentacles here. You could have been married to somebody that was very deceptive. Somebody that married you for only for your money. Or was in a relationship with you just for your finances. You see this, this map and shit. They looking for the treasure. Because they know you got it. You hear me? You're the Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody that came into you to keep you in balance. To create this person, this empress. Work with this King of Cups. To come against you. This is this is grown up now. This is but still this is the same bitch that's been fucking with you since you was a kid. I promise you. You I don't know, check your lineage, check check your background, but I promise you, you were different from the rest of the kids and there was a fucking reason. All right? Look. Look at this shit. <laughs> Queen of Swords in fucking reverse. This person's a fuck. Listen, this person is a liar and you are the fucking star. They lied about you. They they manipulated. They they created um false narratives about you. This bitch has been doing this since you was a fucking kid, yo. Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. You are the star. You are the Ten of Pentacles. Four ones. A home. Something about a home. A household, a family, the hermit. Hmm. Somebody went, wow. If if things, if you ever, I'm telling you what I'm getting. If there's anything good, like even having children, getting married, having your own family and shit, this person tried to destroy it. This person did not want you to have what they didn't achieve. You hear me? How dare you be the child, right, that... That came into this world because of a fucking illusion, right? Because of a fucking manipulation. It didn't go their way. And how dare you, right, turn around and have the fucking life that they was trying to get. That they was trying to steal. Anytime you go towards happiness, anytime it looks like you about to have this ten of pentacles, attack, 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 attack. And somebody's a fake ass high priestess too. Somebody could think that could say that they're a high priestess. They're a fucking fake liar, lying ass high priestess. Somebody, look, you see this with this paper? This is somebody that stands up and, and tells people they know this and they know I know this and I know that. They're a liar. They're a fake ass high priestess. This could be somebody that's very, very religious. And this is another thing that they tried to hide behind too. They were demonic. They were the fucking devil. They tried to hide behind religion. I heard the Bible. I heard Jesus' his, his, his robe. Get, get from up under there. Spirit, what's this message? Yeah, but I see Archangel Michael right above this, this high priest, this queen of swords in reverse, and this nine of swords in reverse. Archangel Michael is like, enough is enough. It's like as if somebody was trying to, I, I heard, cut your fruit, to, to steal your fruit from the vine, from divine. <laughs> so, yeah, they try to steal your blessings. 
That's what it was. Because I heard they was trying to they tried to steal your fruit from the vine. They tried to steal your blessings from the from God. That's what they tried to do. Everything God and we all come here with like I said, with a baby bag. With everything that belongs to us to get us through life, we come with that. Somebody tried to steal your shit, man. I'm telling you. Anytime a blessing came in your life, they tried to take it from you. They tried to take it because they didn't have it. Because it never showed up in their life. Because every time they tried to get it, they tried to steal it. They tried to sneak it. They tried to get it with manipulation, with root work, with, with this bullshit. They tried to get it that way. And you get it naturally because it's your blessing. It came with you. And they've been trying to steal it ever since. Mad as fuck. How dare you? That's supposed to be mine. And this somebody that was willing to sacrifice your ass to take it from you. Don't you know, if you sacrifice this person, you ain't getting shit. This is what you're going to fucking get regret. Unable to sleep at night because that's just going to come back to haunt your ass. God going to make you see it. You're pretending, you're pretending you're next to him. He's going to make you see some shit you fucking pretend you know. Stop playing with God out here. Because God showed me, this is clear, somebody been going through something since they was a fucking baby. You weren't supposed to make it this far. Not with all your faculties. Or your life. You weren't supposed to be, be doing anything positive with your life. Because you were never taught anything positive. All you taught was hatred and, and revengefulness and all this other bullshit. But see, you didn't even know this was happening to you. It's been done in fucking secret. In secret. In secret. Because how else could they, they, they justify their fucking actions out loud? They can't. Because somebody would say, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you fucking crazy? You need help. You're sick. So they had to do it in secret. And want everybody to know that they ran out of fucking town because of trying to sleep with somebody's husband and trying to come up off somebody's husband, trying to trap him with a fucking child. You must be that child. Because you became a thorn in their fucking side. You became an, an object of fucking regret for somebody, I promise. We got a Knight of Cups and Ace of Coins. What, we got three here, two or three. The Knight of Cups and the Ace of Coins. We got a Knight of Cups out here twice. Oh, that's the page. I'm sorry. Knight of Cups and a Page of Coins. Somebody could have promised somebody that they was going to be there. That they was going to, you know, make them, you know, leave their wife or some shit like that with this Knight of Cups. You know, listen. Somebody just running around here getting their rocks off, telling you any fucking thing you want to hear, making all these empty fucking promises. Somebody thought they was going to have the world. Somebody thought they was going to be queen, nigga. Look, seven of pentacles. They was, they was fed an illusion. Seven of pentacles. Nah, they was fed an illusion. The chariot. Five of cups. Look at this shit. They had to leave, I'm telling you. They had to leave whoever they whoever whoever your daddy is. They lied. They didn't they didn't choose your mama. Understand that. And your mama's been kicking your ass about it since you was a child. And they also could have stole something. I, I, I believe this King of Wands in reverse may have um tried to take care of you. Without being with your mother, they kept all of that shit. They gave you nothing. You hear me? Because that was supposed to be for them. They deserve it. Y'all hear my stomach? They deserve it. Not you, right? You were less, you were less important. You, you didn't produce what you were supposed to. Listen, I can't fucking make it up the devil. The fucking devil. Lit. Ten of coins. They wanted it. You might, look, you might have even been left it. You hear me? Depending on where you're at in this story. Mm-mm. That, that, she didn't want you to have that shit. Mm-mm. That was supposed to be theirs. Man, I don't know what, what's going on. 
Man, listen, Spirit showed me a whole lot this morning. There's more to come, y'all. There's a listen, it's a whole lot more. Four, four, four on the clock. That's somebody's story. I'll see y'all.